Hello everyone, this is me, Mr. Tyrex here, and today we're going to be finishing off Sonic Chaos, play through Kega Fusion for the Master System. Yes, last time we did the, we played the Game Gear version, but I'm transitioning it to the Master System so we can have the best of both consoles. How about that? Like, Sonic will get... A part on Game Gear and a part on Master System. Tails will also get a part on Game Gear and on Master System. So, yeah. And also, you want to be careful of those coconuts as those can prove harmful, but it doesn't matter. Since. Doesn't matter since this <laughs> level's so fucking short, which I completed in 32 seconds. And I'm not going to bother getting the Chaos Emerald in Mecha Green Hill Zone because there's no good spots to get good rings and yeah. Alright, we are in Green Mecha Green Hill Zone Act 2. Let's get started and what you want to do is you want to get up there in that platform so you can avoid the bottomless pit fiasco. Because, yeah, down there is like a bottomless pit fiasco, and we don't want to go down there. Careful of the spikes and coconuts. Because coconuts look razor sharp just by looking at them. Oh, shoot, yep. You can actually get back up. Just grab the bouncer. That thing would get me every time. I got a one-up. And we just <laughs> completed the stage. Just stick to the top and you'll just be fine. And also Mecha Green Hill Zone. Seems like Robotnik's take or probably because you're in a dystopia Green Hill. Uh, who knows. Who the heck knows. Green Hill is so overused in a Sonic game. Alright, we're gonna get to the boss right now, and yeah, just keep running straight. And this is by far the hardest boss in the game. And I, uh, and, and just look at this. But, and I'm being sarcastic with this. Because look at this. I'm not even holding anything holding down buttons or nothing. That's how fucking easy this boss is. I will be showing the Game Gear version with Tails, so be on the lookout for that. Because there are bosses and stages that differ from the Master System version. That's why first half of the game would be Sonic for the Game Gear, second half is Master System first half would be Master System for Tails, and then the second half, Game Gear for Tails. And here's Aqua Planet Zone. What you want to be getting, we're going to be getting like 100 rings in this zone. So, yeah, it's not really that hard. Just collect as much rings as you can, and then grab your boosting shoes. Want to make a stopping point right there, so that way you're able to reach. And also, there is a few ring boxes, and make sure you be careful with birds. Just roll into a ball, and get the speed boot shoes, and make sure you get it with perfect timing. And. There we go, on to the last special stage. Glab that clock. And make sure you go all the way to the right. And then, just hold down on the way through until you get to the Chaos Emerald Room. 
And once you get to the Chaos Emerald room, there's a spring waiting for you, so, and it'll throw you back in. So, what you want to do, make sure you jump when you get there, like that, and you, I just got the Chaos Emerald. Also ex ex exclusive in the Master System version is, once you complete the special stages, you get a jingle when you get the Chaos Emerald. And that's all the Chaos Emerald special stages we got, as you just need to get five Chaos Emeralds, as the last one is Robotnik has it, and once you beat Robotnik, you get the final Emerald. And that's pretty much it. No more special stages, we're just on to Aqua Planet Act 2. And just let's just have fun with this um, and go through with it. And there's like a bunch of rings right here you can just get here too. Also, once you get a hundred rings after completing five special stages by getting the Chaos Emerald, you're not gonna have any more. You're just going to get just a straight up 1-up as proof by here. You're just going to get 1-up and you can't skip the best special stage. I mean, not the special, you can't skip the stage, but it doesn't matter anyway because you, the stages are so fucking short. Now it's boss time. Wonder who's awaiting for us. Also, yeah, in the Game Gear version, it is different as well. I'll be showing that as Tails. Don't worry. Right. Make sure you grab the invincibility and then. And yeah, there's a weird glitch is where it doesn't go into the boss music anymore. It goes back to the stage music. I could cheese this boss too. Like, look at this. And then it has a third phase. So yeah, first phase is the birds. And then the second phase is the the base boss itself, and the third phase is like the bottom half, which you can just destroy in one hit. So yeah. And now we're on the final stage of the game, the final zone of the game. Jeez, this game is so short spin dash and then what I would do is hold up stay there and make sure you have pay attention to those things you could just run through the traps or you could just hit do a tube ride throughout the stage Yeah, just use the tubes. They're just gonna take you for a ride. And then, 36 seconds. <laughs> That's it. Oh my gosh, you could just cheese it out by just taking the tube rides. In the middle of the stage. And then, that's it. <laughs> you complete the stage. And then Act 2 is not much different either. Can actually take two brides here too. And then just make a run for it. While avoiding the bomb enemies. And yeah, it does have impact damage, so be careful of that. And the lasers will fire at it, you too, but because that slowdown of the game is actually useful. Not even joking. And wonder what the hallway leads to? 
another goalpost, and we just complete the stage in 36 seconds. My gosh. These final levels are short. Heck, this whole game is short. Holy moly. Alright, Act 3 of Electric Egg Zone. The final stage of the game, and we get to the final boss, but what we want to grab is rings, but there is 40 rings, but you know what, whatever. It don't matter, as long as you have a single ring, it don't really matter. What does Robotnik have up his sleeve this time? Looks like an egg walker, so just keep bouncing on him, and make sure you get rings before you... When you get hit. <sighs> and I just swooped down and got the ring. Right there. And that takes care of his egg walker. But looking at him, he's not done. And also this phase will kill you in one hit. So make sure you time it. Alright, so let's try that again. Because that was a demonstration. So, what you want to do, is this is like a final standoff in this game. It's like, and just like if Sonic dies in one hit, Robotnik also has one hit in this phase. So, yeah, not a big difference. And he gets away. But, he happens to drop the Chaos Emerald. And, that's pretty much the end of the game right there. That's it. Oh, jeez, this game is just short. Yeah, this game is above average, I have to say. Fun, but short. Yeah, that I will say, like, I do like the special stages, and they are unique into getting the Chaos Emeralds, and they finally include the special stages, but... You have to get a hundred rings just to get to the special stages, but it's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. And next time we're going to play the game as Tails, first in the Master System version, and then the second half with the Game Gear version. Just to split the two versions up and see the differences. So yeah. And then I plan on streaming, like, Spinball, including probably its 8-bit version, because there is different stuff in the 8-bit version. Probably just rather play it on the Master System as opposed to the fucking Game Gear version I have on the Sonic Gems collection. And Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, we're playing just the Genesis version, because... 8-bit's no different. What's the point? It should have been on the Gems Collection instead of being on on the Mega Collection. But I digress. Yeah, all you get is this, like... It's not really... I don't think it's really worth getting the Chaos Symbols, I don't think, but I just want to showcase it to you all. And yeah, Sonic's running around with the Chaos Emerald colors changing all the time. And no difference. I have to say the music's very good. And I guess the game's got replay valuability. Since you can have like play the Master System and the Game Gear version and you can play a Sonic or Tails. So there's that and came so short fucking short it's not funny i just completed this game like even on master system without using the fucking save states i was able to beat that game on actual hardware too mind you and that's it for the sonic playthrough well guys 
That's it for the Sonic playthrough. Next time we're going to play as Tails. And on the Master System version first. And then the Game Gear version for the, for the part after. So, catch you next time. This is Mr. Tyrex signing out. Peace out and enjoy.